Dr. Paul here. We've got a very interesting rash to take a look at. Hey, how's it going? Ah. Wow. Oh! Dude! getting out of the car. Bizarre. How in the world is this? Sorry. Absolutely. Call 911. Okay, I see. Ooh, they're trying to pull someone out of the car. He's smoking in his engine. Yeah, but he's smoking. Oh, there's smoke in the cabin. He opened the door, he saw the smoke coming out of the get cabin. get him out of there. Oh, the poor lady's frazzled as, as hell. But is there somebody still in the seat? Oh yeah, there's someone still in the seat. Someone definitely in the Mercedes. Tell me what happened. Well, I woke up in the morning the other day and had these bites here. Assumed it was a spider bite. Okay. Was this one out. first? That was first. Yes. Okay. And then, were they all there when you woke up? No, they appeared a little later. Well, I noticed them a little later. Not In sure. the same day? Yeah. And this was yesterday? Uh, I want to say two, three days ago. Two, three days ago? And they're getting worse? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this one, I think you you tried to squeeze it or? Yeah. yeah. All right. What happened when you tried to squeeze it? Mm, pus and then blood came out. Okay. And then Scab right up. Great, great. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna get a little tiny sterile needle and get that one for culture. Clean it with a little bit of alcohol. Whew. Sorry. To just sort of get the area. So we'll just get in there and open that up. And then we'll get a little culture. Doesn't take much to grow. Bacterial infection. Sorry, that hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. No. Uh, no, it doesn't hurt. Totally good. All right. So this here is going to go off to the lab. So I think what's going on here is you probably did get a spider bite. You can kind of see the center of each one is a little bit, the tissue is a little damaged. And then when you see redness around a bite or an infection, there's two possible causes. Either the toxins injected from the biting insect are damaging tissue, or we've got an infection. And usually when you have pustules like we had here, I think of that as being staph. You know, our skin has staph and strep and other bacteria, but the most common cause of a cellulitis that's from a broken wound to the skin is a staph infection. So we're gonna put this young man on trimethoprim sulfa, and on this part of the world, Almost all staph is sensitive to sulfa, trimethoprim sulfa. The other name for that is Bactrim receptra. It's one twice a day for 10 days. It'll probably take care of it. If for some reason it's not getting better, obviously come back, let me know. All right, okay. super. Do you have any questions? Sounds good. All right, well folks, there you have it. Uh, probable spider bites that may have gotten infected. This should get better with trimethoprim sulfa. You know, the question comes, if this was a spider bite, why are you even giving antibiotics? It's a good question because it might get better without antibiotics if it's just tissue damage from the toxins injected by a spider bite. But the fact that it spread like that, either the spider went along bite, 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 number four, or staph infection in the tissue caused these pustules to crop up. I'm covering my bases and taking care of both. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Is there anything you want to say for your newfound fame and glory on YouTube? <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> All right. Hey, here we go. High five. All right. Take care, man. <laughs>